But we'll start with the receivers. The bottom is the Denix. And the top is the AGM. So the Denix is a very good start for a display rifle. Dimensionally, it's pretty close. And one big difference is uh, this kettle would be going all the way through on the real one, but it gets covered with the stock, so it, usually you won't see that. And on the sight base, the original Denix, this was all one casting, and the sight wasn't very good looking. So I milled it off and used the AGM base on there. Uh, line up for the screw holes, mark them, then drill and tap. And I swapped out the magazine catch. This is the AGM on the Denix. That's a Denix. Doesn't look as good. It's held on with a wood screw. Now with the AGM, I needed a spacer behind this button, otherwise uh, you could push it in too far inside the receiver and then it would jam up. Just a 3D printed uh, little spacer and it's working. On the stock Denix. This was all molded in, wasn't able to open. So I laid out for the ejection port, milled out, milled out all this area, and took a long drill bit from the end, drilled the hole for the pin. And I need to make a little spot for the detent to catch. It clips in. Not quite a perfect lineup, but it's not too noticeable. Now this part took quite a bit of work to get lined up. Oh, in here there was a lot of blending needed in order to make the AGM dust cover fit. And uh, another big difference between these receivers, since the AGM started out as an airsoft gun. It needed to fit the mechanism. So this is all hollow and it's pretty thin. Now the Denix, it's rather solid and it's shaped just like the real thing. So you can see the difference in size the grip. Denix is the accurate size. Well, even though this started out as a pretty nice looking casting, there is quite a bit of flash and rough grinding marks on them. So I went through and uh, filed it all down, sanded it, so you can't even really see that it is a cast piece. Now for this one I'm in the process of stripping off whatever kind of paint or finish they had on here which really isn't that good. We're using a birchwood uh, blue and rust remover. Take a propane torch, 
just heat up the metal a little bit and then uh, wipe on the rust remover and it kind of starts foaming up because there's phosphoric acid in the rust remover and that's acting with the zinc receiver but in the process it's also making a finish that looks very close to the late war receivers now there's several other ways you could do it once you got the finish stripped off you can use the birchwood uh, blue wipe on there and it will blue or you can polish it up and leave it in the white that was a correct finish for very late war or once it's in the white spray on a clear finish which is also another option and with that you got a pretty accurate receiver